right, welcome to Sports Bias with Cleveland J. This is a, a little unexpected. As you can see, I have a very special guest with me today. Cleveland Cubbies in the house. Hello. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I was not planning on doing a, a sports bias with uh, Cleveland J episode for probably number three, four weeks before we start uh, the next round of shows. We took a hiatus for the summer um, and getting back into the swing of things uh, in the fall. And you know, if you've followed along with my other stuff or we're friends on Facebook, you know that I'm I'm I'm, I'm dealing with some some things uh, still health wise that we're trying tr tr trying to work out. Um, one of those, if you have not followed my other stuff. Um, I have as a it's, with my heart attack uh, and I've had some uh, some brain issue brain damage issues with uh, aphasia and executive dysfunction and so you're going to hear me stutter slip words miss words maybe use different different words maybe the wrong tense of words so I'm a little challenged that way uh, so I was trying to work the, all that stuff out maybe a little bit better before I started but last year I think our most popular show, at least one of them, was the show I did with Juju. Uh, she co-hosted with me doing, and you can help me out, Cubs, if I'm stuck, doing a um, show on the, the what, what was it, Cubs? Um, logos. Logos, sports the best logos. The, the best sports logos and, and, and nicknames, right? And nicknames. We did uh, sports logo, yeah. not logos. Not logos, yeah. Right? Logos yeah. and names. Logos and names, sorry. So, and Cubby made a little appearance on there, but he was really, I don't know if upset. Were you upset or you just wanted to? I wanted to co-host one. Yeah, he, he's been begging me to co-host one. And he had the, 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 the day off of school today. And so I was like, well, you know, let's, let's, let's do a show. And he was all game and he wanted to do, um, what, what, was your, what was your topic? Mascots. Mascots. I'm gonna maybe turn your volume up a little bit more. Um, uh, yeah, mas uh, best mascots, best 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 sports sports mascots. So we quickly, we quickly, Cubby uh, spent uh, the morning doing doing research for the these, um, and uh, yeah, just kind of keep yourself centered there, Bubs. Um, and so we we quickly put the 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 the, the show together. And uh, we thought we'd get it done by three thirty. We barely got it done by four. Um, uh, all the all the graphics needed to be created, all the new screens for 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 the show and all that stuff. So he got to learn a little bit uh, about doing the research of the in, end of the show, and also a little bit about the creative side of putting the the logos or the graphics together. Right, Bubs? Yep. And, uh, and, uh, and, and, and now seeing a little bit of the, the production side of the shows as well. Um, but tell me a little bit about what you or the, the, what you, what, what was your research like? What, 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 anything you want to talk about your research and how, was it fun? Was it not fun? Yeah. Well, it was fun, especially cause I came across a few old ones. Like how old? Uh, like daddy old? Like there was like older, there was like a brutish one that was just like. <sighs> <laughs> yeah, some of those uh, those early brutish ones are pretty brutal. No pun intended. <laughs> uh, what else? What else? What hmm? else did you run into during your it. research? I know. Don't worry. Um, it was a creepy dolphins one. Miami Dolphins. Oh yeah, that was a little creepy. weird. I hadn't seen that one. I had definitely not seen that one. Um, I'm looking up here, over here, real quick here. So if you are joining us, um, where is that? Where's that at? I'm trying to find my chat. There it is. Oh, hey, look at um, Nancy just said hello. Um, yeah, if you are hi. if you are watching us live and uh, you're on Facebook, you can put your uh, say hi in the comments or agree or disagree with with with, with, with our 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 picks. Um, um, or any other comments or add ones we missed or whatever you want to comment on. We'd love to hear you, love to know where you're watching from. So in the, 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 the comments on Facebook um, and then the chat on YouTube, if you're watching on YouTube, I uh, doubt if anybody's watched on Twitch, but we are on Twitch. I think we're on Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube. Um, so, again, we kind of put together 
the last second, and this that was the last part for me to get ready was all the streaming stuff. So it may or may not. I did test it on YouTube and Facebook and all that. So, um, all right, Cubs. Um, how do you want to start this? I don't know. I. What other ones did you run into that you either, like? Maybe give me some ones that didn't quite make your list. I was gonna do Big Owl. Owl. Where's that? Who's that from? from? Um, it's it's the um Alabama. Oh, that I didn't. I don't think I ever knew the name of that one. Alabama, the elephant. So, you know, I love elephants, but. Yeah. It's Alabama. I wish I would have brought in a couple of those old pictures of Brutus. If you've not seen the, the original Buckeye, uh, Brutus the Buckeye from Ohio State logos there, or uh, mascots there. It is bad. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what other ones? Any other ones that you saw that you didn't make your list or ones that just stood out to you as either good or bad? or? Oh, so it was like this. They don't have this one anymore. It was like. It wasn't like that old one. It was probably like 2010. <laughs> it's not that it was old, like... Buffs. <laughs> I know, but it was like, it was this creepy beaver thingy, like squirrel maybe. Do you know what from what school or what team? No, but it was <laughs> creepy and weird. It had like... It had like one of those like old um pilot hats like mm-hmm. that have the thing that go over your ears. It was so weird and creepy. Then it had I think it had like a bandana around it. You'll have to show me after cuz I don't remember. You don't remember what team or what sport it's from or anything like that? It's well it was a basketball thing, but it was maybe the Dayton Flyers. I don't know. Is Kevin Trigg, is Kevin Trigg listening? Um, all right. Well, so I have the graphics set up here. Hopefully this all goes smoothly. I am going to try one thing, Cubs, before we get any further, is I'm going to try to put a little put a little background music on to see if that works. <coughs> so let me, let me go here first and go over here and then go to... And again, if you're just joining us, you're watching live uh, from Facebook, I'd, we'd love to hear if you just say hi to Cubs or myself or both of us. Let us know uh, your favorite sports logos or mascots, rather. You can do logos, too. Uh, favorite teams, uh, but particularly uh, either memories you might have going to games with mascots or some of us older folk always remember the San Diego Chicken, um, who's still around. The San Diego Chicken is still around. <laughs> Cubby, I, I almost used what? a... The San Diego Chicken was like is the world's most famous mascot. Uh, he became a celebrity back in the seventies, um, or she. I don't know who was a in the chicken. Thing. The San Diego Chicken. You a didn't, chicken. You didn't, San Diego has a chicken. Had a chicken as their mascot. Yes, it's the San Diego Chicken. He was on the Tonight Show. He was a celebrity. He was he went on all the talk shows and made appearances, and that was really the first mascot that became famous. That was when it really became became a thing. Um, and I was going to pick them, but then I, I saw the, the swing and fryer for the San Diego Padres and you walked in while I was looking at oh, it. Oh no, no, no. I did not select that one. So I actually, I know cubbies cause he had to give me the list to come up with the graphics. He does not know mine. So this is going to be a little bit of a surprise. Um, all right, I'm going to see if I can get some, I don't know if I can do this. I don't think I can. Let's try. Can you hear the music, Cubs? Yes, I can. It's not going to work because I have to have your volume. All right, so I'm going to forget that. It's I, loud. Yeah, I didn't. It's I, loud. Okay, I got it. I'm taking it off. Are you good? You good to go? Yep. All right, so we are going to do the top 10 sports mascots. According to us, Cleveland Jay and Cleveland Cubby now. He made me switch the graphic because he wanted to be Cleveland Cubby. Just like his yeah. dad. Just like his daddy. Yeah. All right. So Cubs, why don't you give me your first one? Let me go let me advance to the next screen. 
All right. And give me your first number 10 on your list of top mascots. Um, Tommy. Tommy Blackhawk. So tell me about this one, Cubs. Well, I was coming across it, and then I came across it, and I don't know. I just liked it, even though it's not. Yeah, nah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, that's my that's my that's my area. You're gonna steal my thunder right here, Cubs. Nah, nah. <laughs> Go ahead, finish it. I just liked it. I liked how it had the little black and white and red things hanging from its arms. I thought you were gonna wear your Blackhawks sweatshirt. You don't have to put it on. You don't put it on. So one of the reasons you probably picked it was it's one of your teams, right? Well, yes, but not completely. Okay. All right. So I like Tommy. I like Tommy a lot. My issue with this, and everybody knows that I'm a huge Blackhawks fan, and I think if you watched our, our logo, our sports logo, um, Juju can that correct me if, I, if I'm wrong. Actual right. Right. So the Blackhawks logo, logo that you see on their on oh. Tommy's sweater is the best logo in all of sports. It's been voted that way many, many times. It's always in the top three to five, almost any list you see. Um, but they we're not the Blackhawks. We're not birds. So that's my issue. I know online. I know Blackhawks, it's a it's Blackhawks, but it's the Native American uh tribe that it's named after, not a bird. So I have an issue with Tommy. That's all I'm saying. But I like Tommy. I like Tommy. That's what all right. I mean. So Cubs, my, you're going to recognize my number 10. So my number 10. And I, I got to get us back. All right. Hopefully we're back. Let me just check, check, check here. I'm going to have to, I, I, I pressed the wrong, I, I pressed the wrong button on my stream deck. You sure we're on? Nope. Not yet. I'm still working on it. Yeah, I'm not sure. I have to go. Hold on. Don't push the big red button when you're recording. That's uh, that's first and foremost. Do not push the big red button. Um, what big red button? Yeah. All right. So yeah, we're we're back on on, on Facebook. Um, I'm not sure about YouTube. You're but sure? Yeah, I am sure. I am sure. Let me just check the. The sports bias page too. Yeah, I, I, yeah. Don't press that big, big button. What big button? Well, there's a big button that says that is recording, or the go live button. Uh, so no, we're good. We're good. All right. So I will now. That's why I usually don't put things on my stream deck. My I have a a stream deck that puts all the graphics on and off the screen, and and and, and I, uh, I I don't usually put buttons near that one, so I can. Not hit it. So, all right. So, Cubs, my 10, you're going to recognize, as will probably people around Northern Michigan. And if Nancy and Richard are still watching, they're going to like this I one. Know. Yeah. My boy, Monty. Monty, Monty from the Traver, Traver, Tra, 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 mm. <laughs> Traverse City Pitch Fitters. Thank you, Cubby. Thank you. Um, yes, Monty from the Traver, Tra, Tra, Traverse, Traverse City Pitch Fitters. Traverse City Pitch Fitters. Oh, it's hard. Sorry. Um, yeah. Monty, uh, Monty is a great. I don't know. I, yeah, like like some mascots, I, we have no idea really what Mon, Mon, Monty yeah, is. Like, like, like Slider. Yes. From the Cleveland Guardians. Yes, like it's, Slider. Like what is it? Yeah, I don't know. I, I I don't know. I don't know. But Monty's great. Monty's always out in the commu- community doing things, and he brings a lot of energy to the field. We've been to a lot of games. Um, and so we, we love Monty. We love the energy he brings. And so that, that was my number nine. So, all right, what about you? Number 10. Yep, that was our um, turn, yeah. Number nine, I have Dibs from DePaul. Yeah. What up? Did yes. Did you go to DePaul? I did go to DePaul University, and I loved going to DePaul. Um, I think it was just, it's it was so incredible to go to a city in, in the city like that. 
uh, especially at that age, it was it was amazing. It was amazing. So when we when we get to that point, we will talk about the ad, 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 the advantages. I don't know of what to, you're about to say. Yeah, just well, if you if you know what I'm school. Yeah. Um, so yeah, uh, uh, dibs, which uh, stands for demon in blue suit. If you do not know, now the only issue I have with this is I really loved as most Apollians do. Uh, Nancy uh, commented on our, our my um. Yes, he said, woo on a, a Monty. Um, unless you're saying it to DePaul, too, about you're saying about my boy Dibs here. Um, most of us DePaulians loved uh, Billy Blue Demon. And so the, the last marketing makeover of, 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 of DePaul, uh, Billy Blue Demon went by the wayside and, and Dibs, Demon in Blue Suit. It took me a while. It took me a while. I love the the Paul Demon logo. It's awesome. It's one of my favorite logos uh, in sports. Uh, it's kind of weird that's a um, a demon at a Catholic university, but you know, whatever. Um, it's good. All right. So, uh, <laughs> Dibs is your number nine. My number nine. I think Cubby, I know. don't don't say anything, okay, Cubs? Don't say. I know. All right. So, Super Frog, Super Frog from TCU. Hey. Sean's on. Sean's listening while he's driving. Say hi to Sean Kellogg, Cubs. What's up? <laughs> All right. So the TCU Horn Frogs. What, what did you learn about Horn Frogs today, Cubs? They are not frogs. They're lizards. They're lizards. Fat little lizards too, aren't they? They're kind of fat little lizards. Um, yeah, Cubs got a kick out. Cubs a big animal lover, so. He got into that, and if he, it's something that he didn't learn from Wild Kratz, he learned uh, looking things up. So, um, Sean, Sean, Sean came back at you. What's up? Um, all right. What's up? So I had number eight. I had uh, Super Frog, which I think is a great name for him too. Super Frog. It's like super bad. All right. So all right. What about I number eight? He has for- little spikes on his hands. Let me go back here. Yeah, there, we had a couple good pictures of this one. I, I, I chose that one. Um, so, yeah. All right. So, what about number eight for you, Cubs? Number eight is Brutus. Not the old one. <laughs> not, not the old one. Um, all right. So. The only reason he's number eight is because I saw the old ones and my expectations <laughs> of him dropped. Cubs, come on, man. You're Cleveland I Cubby. Care. You're Cleveland Cubby and you have Brutus at number eight? We're Buckeyes, and you have Brutus at number eight? I don't care. <laughs> it, the old ones were weird and creepy. They were creepy. It's not so much they were weird. They were also very creepy. I, I, I admit. Okay, okay. The one was just, okay. The first one was better than the middle one, where it had the long nose. Yes. And then the hat, and then the tall hat, and then it was just had no arms. It was just like a nut <laughs> yeah. with the nose and the... In the face, it was, it was messed up. Yes, yes. Uh, in the other one you were talking about, I'm gonna see if I can see if I can't find it and pull it up in a second. Let me just do this. Uh, maybe I can bring oh, it on gosh. screen. I'll see if I can pull it up real quick. Um, bring up some images here, <laughs> just so you can get a picture of what Cubby. Oh, here's the here's the one. So let me let me save this. I'm going to save that one. And I don't know how it's going to come on the screen because we're doing this live. So we will see here in a second. That's, well, here's a good picture of the evolution of Brutus. I found a picture of the evolution of Brutus. But I have the one you're talking about. Oh, no, hold on. Okay, it wasn't that bad. That might be the worst one. It's so horrible. Yeah, that that weird one. There it is. There it is. I have no idea. Where this one came from, but all right. What so. is up? <laughs> Why not just to make all right, just, it just that, so just so people on the screen. All right, just so people can understand. Uh, <laughs> okay, Sean just put on here. You know, so Sean just put put put, put on here. If Sparty's not rated higher than Brutus, uh, just by appearance, I'll be very disappointed. All right, first of all, Sean, you know that we love you. Who's that? Uh, Sparty. See. That's some good parenting there. He doesn't even know who Sparty is. That's Mi- Mi- Michigan State's mascot. And I will say it is a very good mascot. Oh! 
Smarty, it is. it's a good, it's a, it's a good it mascot. Is, but... It did not make our list. And you know, if I was no, being objective, no. yes, Sparty is a very good mascot. He's always in the top twenty of the list that I saw. Uh, so I get it, but it's our show, so we're we're gonna we're gonna do what we want. All right, so let me see if I can add. Yeah. I don't I don't even know if I can add this live during a show. So let's see. All right, so here's the first one. Oh, <laughs> that, that up. one's bad. That one's bad. That one's bad. That one's bad. And then yeah, so that's the first one he ran across, and yes, that's looks like a little paper mache Brutus. Um, again, this was before like teams really had mascots. These were he, Brutus was one of the original mascots, believe it or not, um, at least in football and college football. Um, so yeah, that that one was bad. But why make it that? Well, because it looked it's more like creepy. it looked like it looked more like a a buckeye. Um, here's the evolution. But this one has the head of a buckeye. Here's the body. here's the evolution of Brutus right here. You'll see a, a better glimpse of you know <laughs> those. I know we're just embarrassing ourselves here. Good thing we have a really good football team, huh? Look at that one. Look at the one before this one. Yeah, the one with the pointy nose and the huge hat. Oh, oh gosh. <laughs> oh, no. It's so bad. Yeah, Sean, if you caught the beginning, I did talk about, you know, not the, the the San Diego chicken, uh, the KBG chicken. Uh, yeah, it's. I did not – I didn't end up going with him on my list, and I should have. I just – I don't know why. I Yeah, obviously – that one's the probably the, the most popular one of all time, uh, but just so you can see the one that we thought was really creepy, um, here's the here's the last one. I don't I don't even know what to, I don't even know what to it's, say to this one. I don't even know what to say to to this one. But anyway, so now you understand Cubby's. Frustration. All right. So where are we at? You're at number uh, Cubs. Where, where are we at? Number eight for you. All right. So yeah, number so I'm number number eight for me is Billy the Marlin from the Florida Marlins. I don't know. I like him. I was gonna put that on, but I didn't end up doing it. Yeah, he was actually the last one I added. Why he's not number ten? I don't know. I just I could, my my order is a little bit flexible to five through ten, but um, no, I like I like I like him. Bill, Billy. Yeah, him him. It was a bit of a better choice where where it's him, just him. Uh, all right, Bubs, what do you got for number seven? Clark from the Chicago yeah, Cubs. Yeah, Clark from the Chicago Cubs. Now, I like that wind flap. I like that wind flag behind him. Yeah, well, that's just a. I think it's just a flag. I think it's just a flag that's kind of bunched uh, up. It has a W. Yeah, I know. Oh, the wind, oh, wind flag. Yes, yes. Win. Yes, win. I thought you said wind flag, but yes, yes. Yeah, Clark's new. Clark's. It's an, not the Guardians. It's not the Guardians, but it's the Cubs. Yes. Yeah, so we, those are our one and two teams. Everybody knows. Um, you know, Clark's new. Clark came in with Clark came in with the new ownership with the Ricketts ownership. Um, one of their initial uh, mo moves was to bring in mascot. Um, I don't know how well he's been received. I don't. I don't know. Um, he's cute. I like him. I, I, you know, I think he's. I think he's. He, I think he's good. Um, I like that he has hat on backwards and his hair is kind of sticking out. Um, he, I have a couple picture of you, Cubby, uh, with your hat on backwards and Cub stuff on that that that, that looks looks like that. So, and you're my Cubby bear. So. Um, your name's Cubby, so it's kind of where it comes from. Um, uh, but yeah, Clark. He didn't. Clark didn't make my list only because I I didn't I didn't grow 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 up with them, and it's relatively new. But I do like him. I think he's a good fit. I think it was a good choice. So good good good, good job on that one, Cubs. Um, all right, so let's take. A, I don't have this in a really bad position. Um, all right, my next one is. You haven't seen this one. You don't know this one, Cubs. The Pirate Parrot from the Pittsburgh Pirates. What do you think of that one, Cubs? Did you run into this no. one? No. Oh, he's fun. No. He's fun. I like the logo, but he's weird. He's been around for a long time. Um, and he doesn't really look like a parrot. Well, he, he would if you got the side angle. It just wasn't the greatest greatest picture. He's green. Like some parrots are, um, and then he has some red. Okay, well, 
Yeah, no, th- okay. The reason I picked him, because he's been around for a long time. He's one of the more classic baseball ones. I tend to favor baseball ones, and uh, I just have seen him several times. He's just really great energy. I know it depends on who's actually underneath there, but um, I don't know. He's, he's you know, kind of I- iconic, so I kind of I-, I went with him. I like him. If you don't like him, too bad. Too bad. All right, so that was what? I don't know. See, I didn't put numbers on here, so that is par- – so up next for you – you want to sing it? Wait. Good old Rocky Top. Smokey. Smokey. So if our dear friends Brenda and Steve are are are, are listening, you've corrupted my boy. <laughs> no, you know what? Yeah, you know, yeah. Smokey, Smokey, Smokey from from the University of Tennessee. Um, we had really great times uh the beginning of the football season watching games with with uh our friends brenda and steve and cubby every time cubby left the the, the campsite tennessee would do poorly and then when cubby was at the campsite they did well so now cubby had to be at the campsite now he has to be watching the games so steve will, will text us hey is cubby in front of the television because they weren't playing well or something so uh cubby's been come become like kind of the in, in def- what's the word i'm looking for um Kind of like an unofficial, like good luck charm, at least for at least for Steve, at least for Steve. So, anything you want to say about Smokey Bubs? The the actual dog is adorable. Yes. I like the mascot. It's kind of cute too, but the actual dog is so cute. Yeah. So I you you pick pet this him one. And pet him and pet him. <laughs> So you picked this one more because of the the, the actual actual dog than the, than the mascot costume, right? I like the team. I like Tennessee, and I like the mascot costume. Right, fair but enough. But it was also the little dog that. Yeah. It was so good. You 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 were, you were on that page for a while today, just looking at. You kind of went on a on a what do they what do they say the um, rap rap rabbit hole, looking at dog pics from there out for a while, so. Yes. Yep. Yes. All right. So let me take yours off if I can find it. There's Smokey. All right. Mine. All right. You already stole my thunder on this one, Cubs. Slider. So, again, nobody knows what Slider is, and probably nobody would put them in their top, 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 top 10 except for Clevelanders. Um, although I did see him in top 20 lists on, on stuff we were doing. So, um, yeah. Slider is, uh, I could have put, found him one with a, a, Gar- a Guardians jersey on instead of the, uh, the Tribe one. But, um, no, you know, obviously Clevelanders have, have great memories of Slider and him getting hurt in the, in the, in the playoffs. Uh, I think it was. What? Right? Yeah, did I, I told you that story, didn't I? I no, believe it was 1997 never. World Series. I think it was the 1997 World Series. Uh, Slider was jumping o- over the outfield wall getting back off the field. And I think if I remember correctly, and he, I think he busted his ankle, broke his, broke his ankle. So it became a national, Ooh. national story. It was kind of, kind of weird, but yeah. Slider. Mascot's see, gone down. Did we see, did we see Slider when we were there this summer? Well, he wasn't really in our section, like over there, but I saw him like, um, by the dugouts and stuff. Okay. All right, cool, cool. All right, and so then I sl- saw him. I we actually, I actually passed him walking, going to the bathroom down there. When I when I got up to go to the bathroom, I passed him. Which brings up the question: How does Slider pee? <laughs> I don't know. How do mascots go to the bathroom? I don't know. Do you think they do they think think they have a bag inside? Because some of those costumes are so big. Like ones like this, he could probably have a bag, or she can have a bag in there, a bucket, and probably pee inside the mascot in the costume. You think? That's that's weird. <laughs> that's disturbing, bro. That's disturbing. <laughs> all right, um, all right. That's that's my pick for whatever number this slider. All right, Cubs, you are up to. I don't know what number this is. You know what number it is? Five. Yes, five is a repeat from mine. Super frog. Super frog. Yeah, Super Frog. Uh, yeah, that's a good name. I, I like Super Frog. I was trying to hold it in. Like, I wanted to say that I had it on my list too when you brought it up. 
Yeah. I was just right. like, okay, okay. No, you brought up Slider, so I had to, I had to ruin some mascots of Mascots seem to, mascots ne- seem to, if they have a number, it's always zero, 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 or one. Like, why can't it, why does, why, why can't it be different numbers? Like, I will have to look at that. that. I would imagine it's, it, it's, it's, um, it's. It's because the players are, are, are you use, use those numbers very rarely do you have um, a zero uh, in in most parts in college football you, you you usually do or a one so I don't know I don't know I have not noticed be, be, before so if you are just jo- joining us on Facebook or YouTube or Twitter or Twitch this is sports bias with Cleveland J and Cleveland Cubby today we are doing the top 10 sports mascots in sports. Cubby was insisting that he do an episode, co-host an episode with me. And it won't be the only time he does so. We have some other shows that uh, we want to do. Uh, but he was he really was looking forward to doing a show with me after Juju and I did the other show uh, last year with the logos and nicknames. And we had some time off today from school because he's uh, a little ahead in school and doing really well. So uh, we had no power earlier in the day. And so I gave them the day off and... We decided to then do the I show. Then I came on, like, then I came on, <laughs> and we were begging him. Yes. I don't know about begging. Yeah, I came on. We already made the call to not have school, and then the power came on er, relatively quickly after that. I'd already Probably told like them. 15 minutes. Yeah, it was like 930. <laughs> um, so, so, basically, Daddy is great. Go ahead, sing it. If you don't buy me some chocolate cake. <laughs> no, that's good. So hopefully somebody out there will <laughs> recognize that. That was some good. That's some good memory there, but Hey, uh, just uh, on a kind of, kind of a, a, a side note, tell us a little about, um, um, tell us a little bit about, or tell it, not me, but other people about going to the game this, this summer. Good. Nancy's wait, no, Go, Sean. I thought that was Nancy for a second. Cause they, Cause that's Sean. Okay, yeah. yes. Thanks, Sean. Thanks for thanks for 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 for, for, for wa- watching. Go ahead. So tell me a little bit about going to the game this summer. Oh, the Cleveland game. Yeah. Remember that? Like, I think it was this. Yeah, it was the seventh inning, where we were down, and then we scored all of those runs with two outs. Eight. They dropped their strike. It was, it was, it was a, yeah, yeah, we scored eight. Eight runs with two outs, yeah. It was two outs, it was a drop third strike, so he ran, and then got, and then he got a player at home, and then we just kept on scoring and scoring. Yeah, I forgot that, that that should have been the third out of that inning. We were down at that time, time two, uh, and we scored, it was an eight run, eight run seventh. That was right when everything was. We were down, I think, by two. Yeah, we were, and that was the the right when everything really started clicking all together uh, the, for the rest of the season. But um, did you enjoy going to the game? Yes, very <laughs> much. But we did struggle uh, to find an ice cream thing. So, yeah, we yes, searched we the whole thing. We couldn't find an ice cream thing <laughs> till we were back in like the very back. Yeah. So, what did you think of the stadium? And then we finally found ice. cream. What did you think of the stadium? It was cool, especially like that back part. Mm-hmm. Where like in the center field part. Yep. That part was cool. Like it had like a. It was like a. Had the monuments. Like something. Yeah. Jim yeah, Tomey statue. statue. Jim Tomey statue. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's one of those stadiums. Um, some of the newer stadiums, and that was the first wave of the, the 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 the, the newer stadiums, Camden Yards, and then then the Jake was 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 next, and and some of those newer ones didn't weather well, age well, they age really quickly, and the Jake is still or Progressive Field is still an amazing stadium, uh, and that's not just me saying; it's people that aren't Cleveland fans that go to that stadium. They did a really really great job and really great job of kind of tweaking it along the way. But yeah, I, I, you know, being, being, a being a, a, a daddy, you know, I, one of my dreams was to take you to 
your first game. I remember my first game and walking up and seeing the field for the the first time and the crowds and the smells. Well, that thing's humongous. Wait till they go. Wait till you go to the shoe. Um, you know the the Jake holds forty two thousand. The Ohio the Ohio Stadium holds one hundred and five thousand. Um, so you could fit you know two plus what? two plus Jacob Fields in 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 Ohio Stadium. But anyway, it was one of those days. That the weather was great, and your response of being there and just from from the moment we 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 walked up to the stadium, you were just you were in awe taking it all in and it was such uh it was one of my biggest thrills as, as being being a daddy and it just i couldn't uh, i couldn't have scripted a better day for us especially the eighth run the eighth run seventh inning or whatever it was so um yeah the seventh it was just yeah your favorite player who's your favorite who's your favorite player jose ramirez and uh what number does jose ramirez wear 11 what and number do you? So do I. Yeah, and when was when is when is uh, Jose Ramirez's birthday? September seventeenth, which is, is September- also my birthday. <laughs> yeah, we didn't actually know that. We he was already his favorite player, and he found out that. Yeah, and then they had, the they had a game on, 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 on his well, our our birthday. He and homered then, on his birthday. Yeah. Yeah, he homered, and then. They, I'm like, did they say it was his birthday? Yeah. And, and he, then, he's yeah. like, it's my birthday. Yeah. And then we looked it up and like, yeah. Very cool. So. Very cool. Favorite player, so same I, number, same birthday. I've been telling Cubby, I have not let him watch it yet, obviously. He's not. This, one of the greatest movies of all time is, especially if you're a Clevelander, uh, um, is, 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 is major league. It's just one of the funniest movies of all time. Um, obviously not necessarily appropriate, but you know, this was in the, this was in the, you know, late eighties. But, uh, uh, so I've been telling Cubby about some of the things that have happened and, and kind of walking him through some of the scenes because I have a shirt. I bought a shirt that weekend, uh, that, you know, says Holt win the whole effing thing. Um, you know, and, and Cubby's, you know, it's weird. Cubby's really, strange with swearing he doesn't pick any of this he just refuses to which is good um because i do every now and then will slip and say something and he hasn't picked it up but but the reason i'm bringing this up because dave kenny who i went and saw major league with at the movie theater and he can he can contest that i was just like crying watching the watching this thing uh when we were talking about the two run or the the two out eight run inning there's a line in the movie sorry i'm gonna i'm gonna swear on this one just because i'm quoting quoting a movie uh, the manager says, uh, two out shit burger. <laughs> That's a quote from the movie. So someday when you're an adult, you will watch major league, but thanks Dave. You, you, do you remember being at, at, at the, at the movie theater watching that Dave? I think a lot of us went, I think, I don't know if we were at a tournament or something, but I remember it was you and I and others. Uh, okay. We bit on the horn, my horn. All right. Sorry. All right. For, all right. You know. Like, all right, so you're there. Been on it for about 15 minutes. All right, so I, my next one is I did slider. I don't really know what my next one is. All right, um, boom. Ah, Mr. Met. Mr. Met, just classic. You know, again, I. It's I, weird. Why is it weird? It's not weird. The eyes. The eyes is. I I do like the cartoon version of Mr. Mr. Met better, but it's still. It's still great. So I mean, I love I love baseball. I love the baseball logos. I don't think this is the last baseball logo you're gonna see or mascot you're gonna see. So I have Mister Met, and you should too. <laughs> Quit biting your nails, dude. I didn't even know you bit your nails. When is when did you start doing that? About is that to, is that, to, is that to stop picking your nose? So you're biting your nails. I don't pick my nose ever. <laughs> You know, there's millions of people watching this and listening to this now, Bubs. I don't. There's probably four, if that. Actually, there. I don't know what that is. All right, so that was uh, that was that. I need to reposition this. All right, so you are at. All right, you got your next one. You ready? Um, swagger. Swagger from Cleveland the Cleveland Browns. Um. Uh.
Yeah, so this is a, a Amanda said, and I apologize if I don't get all this, is uh, going to the stadium is such an awesome ex- uh, uh, awesome experience. I remember when my mom and stepdad took me to my first Tigers game. I'm not much of a baseball fan, but love going to the stadium to watch. Yeah, there's something magical about going to the stadium in and, and above other sports, uh, to, for at least for me, uh, going to baseball games live is just – and going to the stadium is just is amazing. And, and I don't know, if uh, Amanda, if it was at Old Tiger Stadium. Uh, I loved Old Tiger, Tiger Stadium. I went to many, many, many games there, and, and that was a great place. I think all Tiger fans loved and still remember those days at Tiger, T- Tiger Stadium. I have not been to the new one. Um, and I did a, a Tiger show on this on this uh, show, Sports Bites with Cleveland J. I think the second one. Um, and all the people I talk to that that are Tiger fans don't really like Comerica Park. So I'd love to hear what you you think, uh, Amanda. I think the newer stadiums have all the amenities and so forth. I have not been there. I do understand because I've been to some some of the newer stadiums that just the atmosphere is just more manufactured. Um, I think it's a fine line for architects to kind of balance the the newness of some of the amenities and the traditions of baseball. And from what I'm hearing from 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 people that are Tiger fans, uh, they they're not big fans of it. And I guess it's also I think people really loved old Tiger Sam. But if man, if you if you've been at either stand or both stands, I'd love to, to love to hear that. But Cubs, you were going to say something. Um. You want to talk about Swagger? So. Yes, and then I want to say something else. Okay. Uh, I never noticed. I never like. I always thought that there was just one mascot up until like last year. But then I found out that there was this one, and I like him a lot more. <sighs> yeah. Um, okay, so you know the Browns topic with me is really challenging right now. It you know has been for you know since nineteen ninety nine. Um, yeah, because they've never won the Super Bowl. Okay, yeah, okay and they've yes. been really bad recently. I, yeah, I know. You don't need to keep on bringing it up. I, I understand. Like, um, really, really bad. Yes, and I'm really not happy about it. But, you know, it, you know, it is what it Super is. You're, you know, it's your hometown team. I grew up loving. Oh, and hey, Listen, hold on, Cubs. Uh, I, you know, I grew up loving the, 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 the Browns and rooting for them. You know, the teams are going to go through ups and downs. It's a long down period for the Browns, but – um, you know, I'm still yep. gonna, I'm still a Browns fan, but it just, it really stinks, you know, what the ownership has done and the decisions they've made. So the mascot, however, I love Brownie or Elfie, um, which some people call him. I love creepy. That. Well, the, 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 the character version, like the live version with a costume is creepy. I don't like it, but I love the cartoon one that's on the field. I love that one. I love that one. The swagger is new it, it's a it's a representation of the dog pound uh the dog pound at the old cleveland stadium talking about stadiums man that place was it's fun to watch football games and watching an indians game in that old stadium was awful um but it's you know it, for the dog pound i don't know Wait, what? I, the indians used to play where the browns played at old cleveland municipal stadium it was eighty thousand st- s- seats and it was Sometimes in the like seventies, you'd go to an Indians game, and there were like five thousand people there. So it looked like there was nobody there. Um, five thousand people would be one of the smallest crowds, anyhow. But when you put it in an eighty thousand seat cavern, it looks really bad. Um, so Swagger, I, I do like this picture of Swagger. Um, I'm just anytime I see a Browns thing right now, I'm kind of like want to cringe. And uh, but I do like Swagger. Um, it's just I'm not tied to him. Um, They've been looking bad recently. Yeah, I'd rather I'd rather have Elfie. I'd rather have Elfie. All right, let's move on. All right, so that no. was what? Yo, you had something else to say, right? Um. Yes, let's move on. And I am announcing my number three. You do not get to announce it because okay, okay. Uh, I will let I me get, get to announce let, all of them from here. Oh, okay, okay. Getting kind of bossy on me, Cubs. I'm trying to. I can't see my screen over here. Uh, swagger. So you had swagger. My next one. Oh, there you go. Why? Because it's Why awesome. Why does it have that giant mustache? You wanted me to grow that mustache. Remember, I almost did it last winter. I might do it now. Right? It's probably long enough. Well, I can... it's not the same on a baseball. No, it's he's classic. He's he's Mister Redlegs. Oh, he's weird and creepy. 
He's and, Mr. And, he's, he's Mr. Redlegs. It's a classic baseball. Cincinnati's a classic baseball that's town. A creepy name. You know the season that's always a name. the season always used to start. The first game of the season was always in Cincinnati. It was always the first game of the game of the year. They have parade. They have a parade. Um, uh, an opening day, which everybody should, because it's the, one of the greatest days of the year. Um, obviously, a lot of tradition yes. in Cincinnati. Um, but yeah, I mean, this is classic. This very easy. Well, it could have been number one. It's that good. Mm, no. no. Again, I like the no, cartoon no, 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 version no. of it better than the field version, but it's awesome. No. Yes. All right. All right, so that's that one. All right, let Wait, me take. Okay. All right, so I will not. Now, I will not. I will not announce. This is all. This is all you. This one, the one before this, from Cincinnati, brings me to this Cincinnati mascot. Does. The since Bearcat from the Cincinnati Bearcat. Yes. His name is Bearcat, and he's from the Cincinnati Bearcats. Well said. Um. So yeah. It's like you know I. And I also, I especially like this picture because the snow and everything. It is a good, it is a good, it is, it is a good, it is a good picture. Um, so I was surprised to, 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 I was to see me put this on here. No, no, no. I was, I was surprised to see this on so many lists. Um, I saw, we saw, at least I did when I was doing my research, I saw many lists and uh, this was always really high. I mean, almost all the ones I saw were in the top 10, you know, Cincinnati, you know, as a, you know, is becoming a, a much more prominent football program uh, because of Buckeye Luke Fickle. Um, but, you know, it's still not a big time college program. I know they made the playoff last year um, and they've had several good years dating back when Brian Kelly was there, but I just too uh, bad the Bengals didn't win the Super Bowl last year. Really? Really? Yep. Yep. We're gonna have to have a chat here, son. <laughs> We're gonna have to have a now chat. Now I'm scared. In those uniforms. Oh. Now the big. Ben- ben- Why do you not like the uniforms? The Bengal uniforms have are are better than they were. When they had the two tone like sleeves, like it was, it was like softball uniforms. I know some people oh, like the no, helmet. No. I do not like the helmet. I don't mind. They're Wait, all. I mean, the bang, they're the Bengals. It's I, striped. No, I, I mean, I get it's that. Smart, but why don't you like it? I don't know. I just, I for some, I don't know. I like the all white uniforms, white pants, white tops, and just the, like the tiger stripes on the sleeve. I like those. Those are good. I just thought they missed the boat on all those, all the other years and that. I do like. I don't know if you've seen okay, the white, okay. if you saw the white helmet, the snow, the snow, the snow tiger uh, one. Uh, yeah, they had they had one a white a, 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 a We'll look at it after a, a, a white, white helmet. A white, a white helmet. A white a white helmet was cool. So all right, the Cincinnati Bearcats yeah, I'll at number. Look at that. At number three, my number three. I, to see. when I when I started when you said you wanted to do this episode oh, there was there was one now for, now now I think that's gonna be bad. What you think mine is? Yeah, because you said that now <laughs> I think that's generally gonna be bad. So when we when you wanted to do the show, to me the first mascot that pops in my mind above the San Diego chicken, I think okay. this mascot is the best mascot in sports at least. Then why no, did you put it number one? I, because you'll understand when I when I get there, the two that I have at number one. Objectively, Wait. I think this one and, and probably outside the San Diego chicken, this is the most popular one and most wide, widely known one and mi- widely recognized one. I have the Philly Fanatic at number three. Now okay, now I get now I get you because I like the Phillies. You are such a bandwagon fan, Cubs. We're gonna have to talk about this, Stop. dude. The Stop. Bengals. Oh, gee, the Bengals went to the Super Bowl. I like the Bengals. Oh, the Phillies went to the World Series. I like the Phillies. Hey. Man, I like them, and I will. <laughs> when I start liking a team, I like them. There were teams I liked when I was younger too that I don't like now. You know, so I liked the Phillies when I was a kid. 
Uh, and the Astros. Yeah. Both of those teams are like. You like the Astros? I did. Nolan Ryan. When Nolan Ryan went there, Nolan Ryan was my favorite player at the time. <laughs> and um, I, was, I was a big Astros fan. I remember Nana and Papa. Right. I remember Nana and Papa letting me skip school one day because, or maybe I didn't tell them. I don't know. Um, I remember Nana oh. and Papa. <laughs> I'm, I'm 54 years old. They're not going to, I'm not getting in trouble now. Um, no, I'm pretty sure I was, I was able to stay home because the, the, the Astro. Uh, the Astros. The, the Astros. The in Astros. The World Series playoffs? They played a playoff game during the day. It started at like, one o'clock or something because the the way they were scheduled maybe it was a rain out or something but i i got to miss happy school. 5 p.m people yeah oh all right it's 5 p.m it's 5 p.m all right on that note we will move past the uh, the philly philly fanatic and again this is probably should be number one all right what do you got for number two cubs i have blitz from the seattle seahawks explain yourself young man It's a good one. That's all you, you got? Like the, you like you like the Seahawks. You like them. I did not like and them. I, do. I did like their logo when I was a kid. Yes. I liked I remember drawing their logo when I was supposed to be paying attention in school. No, it's when I when at free time I it's you. No, at in free at free time in school or when I was done with an assignment, I would draw logos. And I remember the Seahawks had just switched their logo. Um and to I, the and one I liked now? It. Uh no, the one before this one. Um or maybe it was actually they were new. I don't remember when they started. Okay. But anyway, well, so so you like this? You like the colors? You like this one? That's that's why you like it, or just I like the colors. I think it's I think it's just a good mascot. The face is good. Like the head yeah. is good. Yeah, the shape of the head and like the the eyes. It looks like a, like a serious, like mean. It looks look, like a serious. Know? Yeah. Yeah, like. Yeah, it's good. It's good. I it's a good choice. I would not have put them number two, but you know that's it's your list. Number two. All right, my number two. Want to guess? You don't know, but you can guess. Dibs. Dibs is number two. Dibs is number two. Again, it took me a long time to come around to Dibs. Uh, and partly I chose this because I just, I love, love, love DePaul. It was, I loved DePaul when I was a kid. Uh, in the Mark Aguirre days when I lived in the Chicago air, air, area and, 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 and watching basketball and then going to college there. And I have such fond memories of, of, of going to school there and, and, and and living in Chicago and, and that bringing me look at my glasses kind of look look at like Dibs color right, um yes okay you went to Nepal we get it loved it loved it I'm just you know I'm just saying you should think about it when we get there that's all I'm saying all right so I had Dibs at number two I have not gone to the new stadium I can't wait to, when we go to Chicago next time Bubs, want- we should go to the new stadium there the DePaul used to play out by where where Bobsha lives out by this the airport is, this, okay this is what Juju just did what did you, <laughs> so put it back on the screen like, put it put it back on the screen so Ju- <laughs> i love that girl so so juju's in the oh. background doing something put, make sure we can see it cubs you're not holding up where you can see it i can't i don't i don't know where to put it well just hold it right okay, there it's right good there. so we're talking about mr red legs and juju just made uh, mr red Le- red legs or that's awesome juji that was awesome um, no, Cubs, when we go to she Chicago, when we go to Chicago, I'm sure we'll go sometime around Christmas. We should see if we can go to the DePaul game while we're there. Okay. Yeah, cool. All right. So that was my number two. Okay. Cubs, you're number one. Do you want, whoa, whoa, whoa. Do you want me to do my number one first so you can go last? Yes. All right. Uh, all right. So now you know what my number one is. Right? My number one should be your number one, but it's number eight on your list. Brutus. How can it not be? Oh, yes. H. Oh, oh, H. Oh, oh, H. Oh, H. Oh. Oh. <laughs> okay, guys, I didn't think you were really going to do that. <laughs> we're live. Dudes. 
Get back in the screen. You, you said. Well, I you thought said I it. thought you'd be smarter than that than to actually say it, but you know, whatever. It's good parenting. Uh, we have two weeks until the game, so we'll we'll figure it's, it out. It's Michigan. It's Michigan. Stop with that. Stop with that. All right. So yeah, Brutus is number one. This was never really in question. It was always going to be Brutus for me. Um, again, I think pure mascot wise, I think the Philadelphia uh, Philly fanatic is the number one uh, mascot in sports these days. I thought about the Oregon Duck because you see the Oregon Duck so much. Um, I didn't put them on my list. Um, there's a several other ones. I know mine baseball heavy, but for me, Brutus, uh, uh, you're pack cracking a, 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 a Amanda up. Um, well, you know, I'm. You know, we've already established this, Amanda, that. Daddy is the funny one in the family. And then Cubby. Oh, wow. 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 You and, think that that's And then true? Juji. And then Mama's way down the list. So these are known <laughs> facts with that. known facts in our family. I hear a whisper. What are baseball players? Wait a minute. So you think you're funnier than Cubby? Although the baseball was she pretty funny. Oh, okay. I, I, What's a baseball? Pl- what do baseball players drink out of? A pitcher. I've heard it too many times this week. I can't laugh with you, Bubs. Send yourself in the camera, Bubs. What's a what's a what's a what's a what's a baseball player's favorite animal? A bat. Yay! All right. So my number one was Brutus. Of course, which brings us to our last one of the night. You are watching the top 10 mascots in all the sports featuring Cleveland Jay and Cleveland Cubby this week as my co-host. Ace from the Blue Jays. And your number one is Ace Ace. from the Blue Jays. It's it's good. I mean, it has the blue on the top, the blue beak, the gray, and then the white. It's just... I just really liked it. It's a very clean look, kind of like the like like a, a, a Blitz. He has that same kind of like eye thing. Um, not that one. Um, so in blue, I, I love blue jays. I think they're they're beautiful birds. They're nasty little birds. Uh, I don't like the way they sound, but they're they're pretty they're pretty cool. So yeah, this is not a bad one, Cubs. I I kind of I kind of like this one. Um, you you had how many birds did you have in your? You have three. Uh, so I only. I had three. Cause three, Tommy. Yeah, Tommy. Yeah, you had three, three birds. I thought about the the, the Orioles too. I don't, I like the the Orioles logo too. Um, so there you go, there you go. So we're gonna go through these real quick, Cubs, and I'll let you announce yours as I bring them up. All right. Nope, I didn't want to do that. I wanted to do this. All right. So Cubs, count down your ten right now. Tommy. At number ten from the Chicago Blackhawks. Number right? nine. From DePaul University. All right. Number eight, Brutus from o- the Ohio the Ohio State No, no, University. the. The. It says the. It says the. It says the. It's, okay, bad parenting there. It is the Ohio State University. All right, go on. Clark from the Chicago Cubs. At number seven. Number six. Batting number six. <laughs> Good. Um, eh, Smokey from the Tennessee, from the University of Tennessee. That's right. Keep going. Number, wait, I, now I don't know what five. number. Number five. five. Super Frog. Super Frog Texas. from TC. TCU. 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 All right, I'll do my top, my bottom five, and then you can do Number your turn. No, no, I'm going to do my fo- top bottom. I'll let you do your top five. We'll split them so we can do the fo- top five. Um, so my uh, number 10 for me was Monty from the tra- 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 Traverse City Pittsbitters. Number nine, Super Frog from TCU. I think that was Cubby's number s- s- five. Five. All right. Number eight for me is Billy the Marlin from the Florida Marlins. Is that metal on his head? It looks like it, but they're kind of shiny. Uh, Marlin are kind of shiny. All right. So that was 10, 9, 8. This is 7. The the Pirate Parrot from the Philadelphia or Pittsburgh 
uh, Pirates. And then I have Slider from the Cleveland Guardians. All right, so now your top five, Cubs. Your top five. Number four. Five. Did you do five already? Super Frog. Yes. Yeah. Uh, Super oh, you did Super Frog? Frog? All right. All right. So that's Super Frog number four. Swagger from the Cleveland Browns. All right. Number three, Bearcat from the Cincinnati Bearcats. That's right. And number two. Number two. Uh, wait, wait. Blitz from the Seattle Seahawks. And number one. Ace from the Toronto Blue Jays. Ace from the Toronto Blue Jays. And I had on my five, bottom five, or top five, I guess, eh? Um, there you go. I have Mr. Met at number five. Number four, Mr. Red, uh, Red Legs. This could, this could be number one, too, with the Philly Fanatic. Um, the Philly Fanatic at number three. Demon in Blue Suit at number two, a.k.a. Dibs at number one. As it should be on every list in America and worldwide, it should be Brutus Buckeye. Right, Bubs? No. <laughs> All right. My expectations have been totally, totally dropped. Oh, hold on. I, I don't have you on screen here. I got to switch your screen. Um, why? Why? Why, 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 why? Because why? I'm looking at a blank screen. Now you're there. Slide, slide yourself in the middle so we can say goodbye properly. Move the, Just slide the camera, honey. Wait. Other way. Other way. Other way. A little more. I can get, you're not in the middle. There you go. All right. So, Cubs, your first episode under your belt. What would you think? I liked it, and it was certainly fun searching for the mascot and seeing some horrible, horrible, Really, really horrible old mascots. Do you remember any of the other bad ones you saw? Like the Stanford tree is not good. Oh yeah, no, that's that's no, no. Why it it, it has like lipstick or something on? And then <laughs> it, no, no, it looks like a crit. It looks like a messed up Christmas tree. It looks like a two year old or something, or somebody that's like is like really, really, really bad at decorating. Stuff. And sorry, Uncle Doug. Definitely Uncle Christmas tree. Uh, I gotta apologize, Uncle Doug, but he did run across, and you know, probably have to agree that uh, the 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 the, the Vir Vir Virginia Tech Hokie was also not was not. Oh, I saw that. Yeah, I saw that. That's that. Yeah, it's. I know. I we can't really say anything because we're the Buckeyes. We're we're named after a hairless nut, so you know. True. Yeah. Um, but at least our mascot's better. So uh, Amanda saying that we have to do an, an episode of the worst. We could do that. We could do that at some time. Um, we've we've mentioned some of them, but we we'd have to do probably the bottom oh. Oh. twenty and just gotta go through them quickly. There's some bad ones, like the Syracuse oh, yeah. the Syracuse Orange. Sorry, Kevin Trigg, the Syracuse Orange mascot. What the West? Why? The, the, Why? It's just. It's just an Orange. Big Red from Western there's, Kentucky. What? Yeah, there's 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 a lot of there's a lot of why is it, what what is it a raisin? <laughs> I, I don't know. They're the Hilltoppers, so I don't know exactly what it is. But it, for all we know, it could be a uh, anything that's yeah, red. I don't know. I don't know. All right, Cubs, we're going to say goodbye, but this was fun. I'm glad we got to put it together and you got to host your first show. Next time we'll do a little more planning so you can learn uh, more of the production side of it. But now we're going to kind of kind of work on the post-production stuff so you can see some of the things that you do afterwards and, and posting things. And I'm sure we will uh, take out some of these clips and post some clips on here um, and go from there. But, uh, again, thanks for thanks for watching, and uh, I guess we will we will see everybody – soon right cubs yep all right everybody see ya <laughs>